everyone. How's it going? Good evening. It is Wednesday and it's Wednesday evening and this is around the time that I get ready to take Max for a walk in the evening. Now it's pitch black and I'm on my own and um, we well, just have to be careful. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 6.35 p.m. Right, so what I've done so far is I used to keep a diary and I stopped writing it last year. Um, so I've started to write the diary again. So we've got this black diary here. just started doing it trying to recap through what's gone on so far this year I hear, I don't know if I, I haven't written the fireworks up that I went to in January yet so this is my diary this year so I've got to write up the fireworks that I went to on the 31st of January I haven't written that up don't really see anybody anymore to write people in it I see the last time I saw my, I've written the taxi incident in there, the incident with the taxi driver. Um, so I just sit in my flat, I've written the diary up, that's given me something to do. I've been watching the latest news on the television. I've obviously stopped messages from dating sites, which I, if I go back to my diary in 2023, um Saturday 1st of July um pinch punch first day of the month nowhere near finding a date on one of these dating sites just guys asking me for photographs on flirt finder with fake profile photographs um, so that's the 1st of July last year. We're now into uh, 2024 now. And I've deleted all the dating sites. So I'm going to read the entry for 1st of July. So today I got up at 8 a.m. The heat's not so bad today. Slight rain and overcast this morning. My mother rang later on last night, let it go to voicemail because I start to get depressed after the phone calls. Fed the cat some Max, made a coffee. I had raging heartburn this morning, painful and pain in the right chest. I ate some cheddars my mum gave me before I went to bed. I took Max out for a walk by myself. I went on to the Rochester Riverside field as I did last night. Last night that weird bloke with the dog Luna was on the field. Luna for lunatic apparently. He had a green waistcoat on and he had Luna on a red lead. There was an oriental woman with black hair on the field and he let Luna off the lead and she darted all over the place near a man with a huge Alsatian dog. So <laughs> Whenever I go on the field, you know, I have to be wary of big dogs going after Max and jumping on my legs, etc. Um, I'm sorry if I come across sometimes, I, I get my words out wrong. Um, I don't mean to offend anybody but um, I have had damage to, to my head in, in 2015 and sometimes I think without speaking so when I'm describing somebody I don't mean to be rude and I don't mean to come across as, as hateful to anyone um, I get my words wrong and mixed up um, I really have to think hard what I say and it's been a tough few days and I'm also worried about a scan I'm supposed to be having because I'm still getting pains in my belly 
and um, I don't know what's happening with that. So if I come across, I, I do, I have been feeling a bit grumpy today, to be fair. Um, what else can I say? I'm getting ready to take Max out. Um, I do suffer from pain and um, what wouldn't annoy someone else um, does annoy me and I can't help that. It's because I've got damage to my jaw and face. So it might, might feel like I'm moaning, I might be taking things like serious. But when you've got damage to your face and head, and I've got damage to my ear as well, noises can hurt me. And I don't, I don't want to kick off. I don't want to get cross with anybody. Um, but that's that's how it is. It doesn't matter where I go, uh, where I live. I, I, it's something I have to live with because I suffer with it. So sometimes I do moan a bit. But um, there's no cure for what I've got. I just have to put up with it. So when I get a bit cross, that's just me getting cross. But wherever I go, it's gonna, I'm still going to suffer with pain issues. So nothing, it's not curable. Painkillers dull it, but it's not curable. Um, so, yeah, back to today. I've got to take Max out for a walk. Um, things do get a bit like monotonous and but my diary's helping i'm not answering the phone calls because my mum rang this afternoon and before he came in upstairs there was really 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 bad loud noises and i don't want to get cross with anybody i don't want to get angry i just want to get on with my life and i do think that i'm better off by myself I, I, I don't want to get involved with anybody else. Um, I've got to, to get through what I've been through. And I, I don't think that someone coming into my life and using me is going to do me any good. Because they don't want me for me. I've, this guy wants to call me up and ring me on the phone, right? And I'm not, not doing that. It's not because I don't like him. It's not because I because I don't you know just talking, then going on to WhatsApp, and you've got to be careful, because my dad left me nothing at all. He left me no money at all when he died, and he, his money obviously, my mum inherited it, didn't she? She she he died. She was his next of kin. She was entitled to anything my dad had. I was given nothing by my father. He left me nothing. And apparently what my mum said to me was, my dad um, told my mum that I was going to, I was a bad person and that I would drain all the money off my mother. Right, when my dad died, I wasn't notified of his death to a couple of days after he'd passed away. And it was on an answer phone message. No one came to my door and said, your dad's dead. My mum had just left me a message on the phone. She didn't send anyone round when I, she received no answer. I, I, I just found out by a voicemail message. And my mum asked me to go up there. I didn't go up there you know some people when somebody's dead they rifle through their belongings they take stuff i i i didn't want i wanted to stay out of it and my mum asked me to go up there and i helped my mum uh, decide which funeral place um for the deal with my dad and um, it, it went from there really and it was my mum that told me what nasty things apparently my dad said about me and it almost made me cry um i didn't say give me money what has dad left me i didn't say anything like that 
it was my mum that decided to, to give me these takeaways. My mum just said, well, well, why don't you have a takeaway? My mum actually suggested it. And as for the money that I was being given, she, she voluntarily gave it to me. I felt bad because she herself isn't well and she's elderly. I felt bad taking it. And my mum kept saying, no, you take it, you take it. I want to give it to you. I want to help you. Is there a bill you need paying? And she used to give it to me. And um, I went up there and I found my mother's behaviour getting aggressive. On one occasion she grabbed my arm and I put down that down to the grief of losing my dad. And I didn't do anything about that because that was just after my dad passed away. She gripped my hand and said, don't take anything. As if I would take anything from from my dad that had just died um, I didn't do anything about that and she's just got really really angry really really aggressive and I can't deal with it and um, she asked me my address I didn't demand my mum send me money she asked me my address and she started sending envelopes with money in it to my address with my full name on my address and I've told my mum in the co-op yesterday in front of cameras I because I had her on loudspeaker I said don't send money in the post I did because you know it could get stolen I said I'm not coming up to see you in the new, near future not because I don't want to see you, Mum, but the taxis that I've been having home haven't been safe. And that is the reason. Now, I don't need people setting dogs off me on the field so that I can't even go outside and walk my dog. What am I supposed to do? Stay stuck indoors all day and not go outside by being intimidated. I'm entitled to walk my dog over the field. I'm entitled to walk on the pavement like everybody else. I am not being intimidated. I will tell my story and I will continue to fight for justice. Right? And when people start to get aggressive and try to attack you, then you know that you've ruffled someone's feathers, right? You've, you know, you, you, something's going on. <laughs> If I can't go up to my mum's because these taxis are dangerous and I can't go on the field because every time I get go on the field I get large dogs trying to jump on me and Max, right? And if I go, go outside I get bullied. I go into a shop and you, what, you know, you get idiots laughing and causing like disruption in a shop. I mean... They're TikTok videos for goodness sake. There's millions of people on TikTok. Do you know Michael Barrymore's on TikTok? He's an actor in his 70s. It doesn't matter how old someone is. It doesn't matter what they look like. Right? Does it? You've got Anthony Hopkins in his 80s on TikTok. You know, I was bullied. When I first went into TikTok, I was bullied because apparently I was too old for TikTok. No word of a lie. I was too old for TikTok. You've got Anthony Hopkins in his 80s. Michael Barrymore is 71. It's ridiculous. It's not only ageism, it's because I'm a woman. Oh, it's okay for older men to be on YouTube, but not older women. So I've gone back in there with a different attitude and I'm trying to enjoy myself and just doing little videos of just, you know, I'm not showing my body off, 
I'm not doing anything that's harmful to anybody. I'm just making people smile and a bit of dancing. And I've noticed that TikTok are, are muting videos. So they, they let you upload a video with music that they suggest. And then they start muting the music. So I have to keep going down my videos, finding out they've muted, muted, taken the music off my video, and then I've got to find another piece of music. And then as some a few days down the line later, they've muted a video again. So you put time and effort into doing videos and then making music available. It comes up on there, add the sound. So you get you put put the sound on and they're taking it off. And you've also got to be careful what you say if it's copyrighted or something because they, they mute the whole video with you speaking on it. So someone goes into your video and it, you, you know it's like oh, you, you're speaking but no words are coming out because TikTok has muted it. Taken the audio off. And you, you spend time and effort putting into these videos to get them muted. So I've gone about down 20 videos and had to change the audio because they've muted the video. So you've got videos of dancing and the music's been taken off. So I don't know what's going on there. I had a problem with YouTube yesterday. My videos weren't showing up at all in the morning. And suddenly that's gone back to normal. There was a bug on YouTube yesterday morning where videos weren't going on. They weren't being shown. So that's rectified itself. Now I'm just hoping that, you know, when I go out this evening, you know, this dog barking had stopped when I went outside and passed people, it stopped. And this afternoon we've gone back to that because I'm not going up to see my mum, right? Um, it's not because of, of my mum totally, it's because I, it's my safety. Um, I've got to look after myself because nobody else seems to fucking give a shit pushed about, shoved about, jumped on by dogs and I'm, I'm tired of it. There's nothing wrong with me. There ain't. And, um, I, you know, yes, my hair is ginger at the moment. I haven't got orange teeth. They are a bit crooked, yes, because I told you I had an accident when I was nine and twisted my tooth. I fell on the pavement. But I cleaned my teeth. They ain't orange. And people that are shy of showing their teeth don't get in front of the camera and, and just put their teeth in the camera, do they? Do I do photographs with my teeth sticking out? Do I go on TikTok and do put a lovely photograph of a close-up of my teeth? No, I don't. People that are wary of what they look like don't stuff their face right in front of the camera. Especially smile when you you know you're wary about your teeth. I don't stick my teeth in front of the camera. And there's lots of other people that are ginger on YouTube and TikTok. Loads of people, short ginger hair, long ginger hair. We're all different. We come in different shapes and sizes. But I've always been wary of my teeth. I do not stick them out in front of the camera. And no, I wouldn't want implants. I've heard more troubles from people that have had implants than I have had with them with dentures. Because implants can go t terribly wrong. I think Daniela Westbrook had implants in her mouth and they, they um, got infected or something. We've all, we're all different. We all have things wrong with us. Some people just don't give a fuck. They've got problems with their teeth and their face and they've got so much confidence they just carry it off. 
I am not bursting with confidence. I don't stick my teeth in front of the camera. Now I'm going to get ready to take um, Max out for a walk and then I'm going to spend the evening by myself because until I can find somebody that actually wants to be with me for me and not just go down my knickers, score a notch on their belt and fuck off, I'm quite happy to do so. See you later. <laughs>